Hey guys, it's me, Crystal, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a simple and beautiful tassel. So to start, I'm just grabbing some three millimeter single strand cord that I have in my scrap bin. So you can just use scraps if you have that. That's what I'm doing. Or you can just use one continuous strand either way. And I'm just grabbing this framed little wall art thing I have from the Dollar Tree to wrap my tassel around. It's about six and a quarter inches um, long. So it just depends on how long you want your tassel to be. And it's probably about a half an inch wide. And I'm just grabbing one of my strands and I'm just gonna start wrapping it around this little framed wall art. You can use a piece of cardboard, you can use just really anything you have laying around that's about this size. And I'm just holding it in place. And since I'm using small pieces, I'm just gonna wrap them around and just make sure that it wraps all the way around to the end. Or you could just use one big piece and wrap it around like 10 times probably, depending on how thick you want your tassel to be. And I like that amount, so I'm gonna stop there. And since I'm using scraps, I'm just gonna cut off this excess over here. And here's what you'll have. If you would've used one strand, you'll just have it wrapped around and you'll want your two ends on the same um, side. So that'll be the bottom of the tassel. Then you're just gonna slide it off carefully and keep your fingers at the top to hold that top part. It's gonna be the top of our tassel. And then see, I still have, I have a bunch of ends already, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut the ends that aren't cut. So you're just gonna have a bundle of cords that are all the same length. And I'm just gonna lay that down and then we're going to tie it at the top. So I'm grabbing another piece of string. This is probably about 20 inches long and I'm folding it in half just to find the center of it. And then I'm just, going to loop it around the bundle of cords and tie a simple knot around it at the top. And I'm doing a long piece of string so that I can hang it from something, or you could do a much shorter one if you don't need that much cord for your tassel. It just depends on how long you want the hanging cord to be. So there we go, I just got it looped over and I'm just gonna tie a super simple knot. Tie it in tight. So now we're gonna grab another piece of cord and this is probably about 24 inches long. And we're gonna tie our wrapping knot. So you do this U shape here and then you're just gonna wrap around and you wanna pull it pretty good and tight and continue wrapping until you have somewhere around like five wraps. So I did six wraps this time and then you're just gonna thread the end down through the loop. And then you're gonna pull the little short cord at the top to bring that loop up. And you just want to bring it up to about halfway under the wraps that you just made. Make sure it doesn't come all the way out the top and this will make it nice and secure. So just stop right about there. And then you're just gonna cut off the excess cord from your wrapping knot. You wanna do this close to the wrapped part. So just stuff the little ends up under the wraps with the ends of your scissors. And then you're gonna do that for the top as well. And then once you get that part done, to make it kind of neat, I like to go and pull on each strand just a little bit so they're like evenly sticking out at the top. See how it's all kind of randomly bubbled up up there? And I, but I don't want to pull too hard because you don't want it to just slip back down under the wrapping knot. So I'm just carefully pulling on each cord and making sure it all looks nice and even. And once I'm happy with that, you can just kind of give it a little tug at the top just to get everything nice and neat. And there we go. At this point, if you wanna trim your tassel down a little bit, you can. 
I'd like to make mine a little bit shorter. And now your tassel can be done at this point if you like how it looks now. So at this point, your tassel looks good as it is, or if you want to go do an extra step, you can brush out the ends of the tassel. And then you'll have a nice fluffy brushed out tassel. So really you can do it either way. Here's how it looks after I brushed it out. You see it's really pretty. It is a little bit more high maintenance this way. You have to brush it occasionally or it gets kind of crazy. Now you have a beautiful tassel to put on whatever you want to put a tassel on. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, please leave a like, comment, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks for watching.